This video is an ad for Trade Coffee. And when I make such videos, I feel I have to be particularly conservative in any health claims that I may make about a product that I'm endorsing. I mean, and if I didn't feel that way, the various lawyers involved would make me feel that way. For example, in the process of selling coffee, which is what I'm doing right now, I can't just say something like, coffee drinkers are less likely to die, unless that is a 100% scientifically backed rock solid claim. The thing is, it is. Many large scale studies show a clear correlation. People who drink coffee live longer. The most recent big one came out of Korea a few months ago. They looked at more than 100,000 people over 40 and they followed them on average for about a decade. People who drank three or more cups of coffee a day were more than 20% less likely to die than their peers who drank zero coffee. There are similar findings from big studies all over the world. What's less clear is why coffee drinkers live longer. There are several evidence-based hypotheses which we shall now discuss, but for you to uh, perform your own experiment, you're gonna need some coffee and I would suggest obtaining it from the sponsor of this video, Trade. Hit my link in the description, drinktrade.com slash ragusia. Go there and take the quiz. Trade will ask you what kind of flavors you like, how you usually make your coffee, and if you're a noob and you have no idea, that's fine, just say so. I'm relatively advanced these days, but Trade still turns up matches I never would have found myself, like this delightful roast. Trade finds awesome, ethically sourced coffee from the best roasters all over, and then they'll send a steady stream of delightful bags straight to your door so you never run out. At the moment, Trade is offering a total of $20 off your first three bags if you use my link. That's more than 60 cups of coffee for free. That might seem like a lot of cups of coffee, but the longevity benefits associated with coffee seem to be found in people drinking many cups a day. The effect hits a ceiling around six cups a day, according to the research. So why? Why do people who drink a lot of coffee seem to live longer? One obvious and very popular hypothesis is antioxidants. Several studies show coffee to be the largest source of antioxidants in the typical Western diet. Other foods and drinks might have more antioxidants, but a typical Westerner still gets the plurality of their antioxidants from coffee because they drink a lot of coffee and coffee has a lot of antioxidants, particularly lighter roasted coffee. You lose some antioxidants if you roast to really high temperatures. Coffee has a lot of polyphenols and related compounds that shield your cells from the oxidative stress of free radicals. Free radicals are unstable atoms or molecules generally involving O2 that are highly reactive to the molecules around it and they can cause damage to your cells. And it's associated with everything from heart disease to cancer to depression. Some scientists even theorize that oxidative stress might be the cause of biological aging itself. So one reason regular coffee drinkers appear to live longer might be all the antioxidants in here. And that alone might persuade you to patronize the sponsor of this video, Trade Coffee, via my link in the description. Save 20 bucks on your first three bags of coffee, calf or decaf. Several studies have found this coffee and longevity correlation holds up whether people are drinking caffeinated or decaffeinated coffee. Trade, of course, offers many fine roasts with or without caffeine. I've been ordering a lot more decaf lately just because lots of caffeine messes with my body in a few unpleasant ways. This bag that Trade sent me was decaffeinated via what they call the Swiss water process. That's where they take the raw, green, unroasted beans and they soak them in hot water and then that extracts the caffeine. They take that water, they pass it just through a regular old charcoal filter and that gets the caffeine out. And then what they do is they take more green bean and they soak that in the water that they just use. And that kind of reclaims the flavor out of that water. Pretty cool thing. And it's much more uh, wholesome than the more chemically intensive processes that are used in other kinds of decaf. Anyway, I like it. And I like that I'm able to drink a lot of it without the caffeine. I wanna be able to drink a lot of it. Why? Because drinking coffee makes me happy. And this is another coffee longevity hypothesis. When you drink multiple cups a day, you have to stop what you're doing and go get it. To me, I find the whole ritual of grinding and brewing my coffee to be very relaxing and it takes a while. I like to leave it in the French press for about seven minutes before I hit the plunger. This forces me to take like a 15 minute break from whatever stressful thing I'm doing. I gotta get up from my computer, move around a little and focus on some 
easily achieved short-term goal, the outcome of which is simply my own pleasure and enjoyment. Needless to say, these are habits that are also associated with positive health outcomes. Taking breaks, getting up and moving around, de-stressing, enjoying yourself. Drinking tea can also provide the same kind of healthy structure in your life. And indeed, the aforementioned Korean study found that tea drinkers live longer too, but they found that the coffee longevity correlation was actually stronger than the tea longevity correlation. Going outside for a smoke creates a similar break-taking structure in a lot of people's lives. The problem with that, of course, is that cigarettes are poison. Coffee is not. So if your habit is coffee and cigarettes, well, I suppose you know which of those two needs to go. Indeed, coffee's proximity to various unhealthy things might explain the existence of a few studies contradicting the coffee longevity correlation. A small minority of studies find no benefit to drinking coffee or even a slight negative health effect. Some of those studies have been criticized for not doing enough to disentangle coffee drinking and smoking, or coffee drinking and sugar. Lots of people drink coffee with tons of sugar in it. Or they have it with junk food, like donuts. You gotta control for those things if you're trying to research the health effects of coffee in particular. If you're in the bad habit of pouring the entire sugar bowl into your coffee in the morning, Hit my link in the description, take that quiz from Trade, and tell them that you take it black. Even if you don't, they will send you roasts that are designed to taste particularly good without any unhealthy additives, which is the way that I generally try to take it. Lord knows I get enough sugar and fat from other things in my life. And if you're gonna be drinking up to six cups a day, get the good stuff. You will very quickly start to learn and appreciate the difference. Trade will send you great stuff from great roasters, and the variety they send will keep it interesting and fun. I wanna thank Trade Coffee for their sponsorship of this video and by extension, all of the content that you enjoy here. Right now, Trade is offering a total of $20 off your first three bags when you go to drinktrade.com slash ragusia or just click the link in my description below. That's more than 60 cups of coffee for free. Start your journey to the perfect cup. That's drinktrade.com slash ragusia for $20 off your first three bags. Thank you, Trade. Here's to your health, long life, and happiness.